What's up, YouTube? It's me, Stuart. I'm, uh, laying in my bed. Ooh, my teeth look white. Nice. Uh, disclaimer, this is a fishing video. If you don't, don't like fishing, uh, don't watch it. Yeah, that that's it. Uh, uh, watch, enjoy the video if you're watching it. Bye. What's up, YouTube? I got a headset on. Oh my god, there's a turtle. You guys see that? I'm out here fishing. I was about to say I'm fishing. There's a little, there's a little box turtle or something by my, uh, by my line. I think he's actually what just bit it, because I was just over there and got a bite. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's a little turtle down there. I'm gonna reel that in now and get the, get my shit away from him before he bites it off. I don't want to accidentally hook the turtle. That'd be bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm out here fishing. I'm recording from my earbud currently, so I don't know how well you guys can hear me. I have my hood up because, uh, it's been windy. So I've caught one bluegill today. Very pretty. I didn't get any photos. It was a very pretty, um, blue and yellow one. It looks like a real bluegill, but it just had some blue and yellow on it. It was real pretty. It looked real nice. Uh, like I said, that second bite could have been a fish, or it could have been that turtle. But, uh, yeah, I have not, um, uh, I haven't got anything since. It's a little windy, it's a little cold, so the fish might not be biting as much. They're going to be hunkered down in areas, and you're pretty much going to have to cast right on them. So my current strategy is a bobber with a sinker and a floating worm, and I'm just basically, uh slowly reeling in, letting it sit for about a minute, a minute, minute, two minutes, and then, uh, reeling again. Maybe, like, half, six inches, half a foot, maybe a full foot, if I'm not, if I'm feeling spicy. And I'll just let it sit there. And then I'm reeling it in. So, I did not bring my, uh, tripod with me, because I'm, uh, dumb. I wasn't thinking about it at the time. We were going to go fishing with family today, and then uh, I got into an argument, and, uh, yeah. Now there's no fishing with the family. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the phone. I gotta wash the line. I might do some, uh, bobberless fishing as well. I'm not sure yet. I do both. I think I'm going to get moving to a different part of this pond soon, though I'm not. I'm not getting much over here, but it's okay. I don't mind. Shit, man, I got stung by something. They got a bunch of those, uh, Indiana, we have stinging plants. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but this pond is just... Last few times I was here, it was absolutely covered in them, so I think I just got stung by one. Uh, yeah, uh, no fish yet. Um... Oh, I just saw, I just saw a wake. Oh, wow. That was a big fish. I don't have any gear for that right now. It's all at the car. All right, I think there's a pipe down the way. I think we're gonna slowly move towards it and fish around it. Because that's gonna have a lot of structure. There's not a lot of structure in this pond. There used to be tons of trees and branches and other stuff to give cover and shade, but they pulled all that shit out. So now I'm thinking the fish are just staying deep now, since there's not as much structure in here. And the fact that it's colder is uh, also not helping my case. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, no, should I go up to guys? I'm gonna move a little more down the uh, pond, and then I'll be back. So I can't really sit down here, I'm just letting my bobber float. As I'm walking by. See, there's some, there is some big piles of cover where they cut all these trees down. So it's... I don't want to get tangled on it because the pond is up a lot. So I have my bobber set. I have my shit set for deeper. But, um... Might actually be a fish in the structure. Uh, and I'm caught. God damn it. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm caught on this little branch down here. Uh, where the fuck did I get? 
I'll be back once I get this unstuck. All right, we're back. So I'm, at the, I'm actually at the pipe, and I just saw my first school of minnows. I haven't seen any at all this whole time I've been here, and I'm caught again, goddammit. Even all this dead. Thankfully, it's just a reed, so I should be able to just, yep. Oh, no, I'm mega tangled. God damn it. I'll be back. What's up, folks? So I'm uh, sitting here. I've, I've moved way down. I fished that pipe for like 10 minutes and didn't catch a single thing. So I've uh, moved down uh, to the more windier section of the pond. We get up a big windstorm. I'm God fucking damn it. Why am I getting stuck in everything? Well, who knows? I'm, it's being pushed towards structure, so we might actually get a fish by the structure. I just don't really get it. So yeah, I'm currently sitting on the uh, windier section of the pond. I haven't got any bites besides those two on the uh, non-windy end. I don't know how far I'm going to keep going because I do have a bunch of Canadian geese by me. I'm not scared of the goose. So don't mind that glare. It's not, my camera isn't cracked, broken or anything. Um, when my mom put the uh, new screen protector on, she covered half my camera with it like a retard. So, so yeah, my uh, weight fell off, so now my worm's just floating. So I was going to work my way back towards the car. And then I was uh, going to be putting a new weight on. And then... How am I getting tangled on this shit? Okay, um, you know what, I'll walk with you guys. Let's go. I also found a lure while we're walking. Here, I'll pull it out real quick. Wow. What did I do with it? Did I drop it? I guess I dropped it back there. It was just in my pocket. Hold on. God damn it. I don't even remember. I can't even tell where I was at now. These weeds. I was right here. And I don't see it. Oh, it was hooked into my leg. Oh, there it is. So I found this. A little crankbait or something. I don't know. It's a lure and it's mine now. Ooh, the one's down now. We got a big stick right here. I'm gonna. No, that's a big pipe. That's a water pipe because they got a they got a fountain down there somewhere. So uh, I think yeah, the wind's down now. We're gonna fish by this pipe for a little bit, provide some structure. All right, I am gonna let you guys go though. Yeah, that's if I get a bite, we'll be back. All right, let's come up. down my alarm came off. I just got a bite and saw a big flick underneath. So um. Yeah, I'm gonna get the camera flipped around and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna sit and record with one hand and fish with the other until I hook the fish. I'm gonna have to set you guys down and uh, bring him in. So, I, we definitely got some right here in front of me. I think we got a little school, so we're gonna sit and fish for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, let me get this flipped around and the line back in the water. Alright, so right out in there is where I just got it. That's uh, not where I wanted it, but that's okay. Quickly, I'll reel that back in there. Without the weight on there, and oh god, I can't cast. But ha! Uh, there we go, that's where he was. I'm gonna sit down. There was a fish here. Not too long ago. I don't know how well you guys could see, but I'm gonna leave you guys right there. And you fell down. Cool beans. And my reels now won't care. It's not the fight. I haven't fighting used this rod in over a year, so it's been a little iffy all day. It's currently sitting over there. There was a fish somewhere over here. I saw him, he nippled. He took a he took a little scrumptious bite of my hook. I am bleeding. This reason is good. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys go until I actually get another bite. I just got done talking to you guys, and look, my line got caught in there, and I was trying to pull it out, and I snapped my line from the inside of the rod, so I guess we're going to be doing some hand fishing. So, uh, yeah, this rod, I'm, this rod is straight up no longer usable. Cool. Um, it was working just fine, and then it broke.
I said it was, it was being a little iffy, but nothing too bad. Now I have to go get the seven foot rod because we were gonna go river fishing and I brought that instead of my other small micro rod. But we are gonna do some hand fishing while walking back over there. So I will uh, talk to you guys uh, either if I catch a fish while hand fishing or if um, I get over there and I get the rod set up. So uh, bye. All right, folks, so I'm back. I got my uh, absolutely ginormous seven foot uh, catfish rod. That's all I have with me, besides my, my little small rod that just absolutely got fucking broken. Um, this is all I have because we were going to go river fishing. And uh, I went cool, I'll do some bottom fishing, maybe hook a few catfish. Because I've never really caught a big catfish. I've caught a few small ones and that's it. And I've had this rod for fishing for bigger fish. That's all I've ever had it for. And um, my shit breaks. So now I just have this... Really, I've used this ginormous rod before. I've caught bluegill. I've caught tons of tiny fish on it. It's just so funny to me. I have this giant fucking rod out here to catch the biggest shit possible. And then I just catch the littlest fish possible. And that to me is, I'm gonna get stuck on that downed tree. I'm currently fishing by a downed tree. I might not be casting out far enough though. Holy fuck, I almost died. I almost got tangled. So yeah, we're just sitting out there. It's a little windy. I've got a big weight on there, and I've got a lead. I've got a lead line on here. Now I was told they put some crappie in here, but I have, I have been here in a long time, and I was also told this place has been overfished. Which um, it could just be a slow day today. The fish aren't as active. It is currently ten o'clock in the morning, so yeah, probably. Okay, we're gonna move back over to where I actually got. I got another fight. So we're gonna move back to where I was, uh, where I originally caught a bluegill. We're gonna fish off this end since it's a lot calmer because of the wind. Because of the wind? What? No, it's a lot calmer over here because of the, uh, where the, uh, this part of the fucking pond is. I'll try to get a circle around him in editing and slow it down. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to fishing. I'll let you guys know if anything happens. Alright, guys, so I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't do recording. I haven't got anything in a while. Look at that. I got a little blue gear here. Do you guys see the color on that? That pinkish, that beautiful coloring on there that I can see? That purplish yellow and orange? Oh, so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna get this guy released. Hook is non barbed and he is off. Let's get him released. Put some water down here. Oh, I just stepped right in it. Alright, let's get him. Just get a little bit of a bleeder there, but off he goes. Back into the deep. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get another Ryan out there, and uh, I'm gonna actually start paying attention to recording now, since uh, it seems like they're starting to get more active. Alright, we're back out here. I actually went home and uh, came back and caught a few more fish. I wasn't recording then. I bought the tripod and everything, I just don't want to set it up. Uh, maybe when it's, it's real windy. Well, it's not that windy, but I, I don't want to take the risk of this shit, like, falling over or anything. So we're going to take a big worm here. I'm bottom fishing right now. Bobber fishing was okay, but the last, like, five fish I've caught have just been on bottom. So right now, it's that little guy on his way and hope he, uh, hopes he gets us something. So I'm going to be casting on this, uh... Lily bank here, see if we can get something. Alright, it's in, it's in, it's in. Oh, immediate bite, immediate bite. I lost it, I lost it. Hold on, he might have spelled some worm on there, he might go back.
I think I got stripped. Oh, that fucking sucks. Come here, give me my worm. No, he's still on there. Okay, let's see if we can get that guy before I go home. Cast it back out there. See, that's true. Bobber fishing just hasn't been going well. And as soon as I slap to bottom, I've been getting a lot more fish. See, I'm not getting anything from over there now. I might have spooked them off. Whoa. I'm snagged. I don't know what I'm snagged on, but I'm definitely snagged. Let that fucking drag more. Oh, my drag super loose. Hold on. Well, damn, I guess I'm not catching a fish on camera. So, uh, that was me fishing. I'm probably gonna have to cut that, uh. Oh. Hold on, let's see if that can, let's see if that entire thing came back. I've got like 45 pound test on here, and I've got snagged on multiple things today. And what I got snagged on came out of here, so. They got thrown on, they got thrown back in to be cover for the fish, but uh, we're gonna do one more cast. Let's do over there on those lilies. Um, I casted way too, not where I wanted, but we're gonna let that sit anyways. It's way over there if you guys can see the line. I'm actually gonna go get that. I don't want that. So what we're doing exactly is waiting for the bobber, the uh, tip of the line to move. Uh, sometimes people will have bells set up and all sorts of other stuff, and I just, uh, I just sit and wait. So I'm actually dragging it on the bottom right now, trying to get it in a more open spot for the fish, and I need to reel some line in. Well, I don't think we're in anything, so I think I'm gonna turn the camera off and, uh, Slowly reel this in in the hopes of a uh, desperate hope of catching one last fish and then uh, go home and edit this and uh, post it eventually. So, uh, yeah, bye.